Thousands of protesters gathered outside the Israeli and U.S. consulates in Istanbul on late Wednesday, following Tuesday's blast at a hospital in Gaza that killed hundreds of people. Israel denied it was involved and released a flurry of video, audio, and other information that it said showed the blast was instead due to a missile misfire by Islamic Jihad. The Islamic Jihad has dismissed that claim. We are in front of the Israeli consulate because we are condemning that, like, Israel commits uh, war crimes against, uh, like, humanity, and we have to be standing out as a, like, whole world, not only in Turkey, not only in Muslim countries, not only even Muslims. Like, it is war crimes against humanity. So we should be standing with the people in Gaza. We should be standing with the people in Palestine. There are people, it is the, our humanity that is, that's being killed in, like, Palestine. So we came here to show our support and our solidarity with the people in Palestine. In Greece, riot police fired tear gas after participants in a thousand-strong pro-Palestinian march tried to advance on the Israeli embassy in Athens. An estimated 10,000 people took part in Wednesday evening's demonstration, many waving Palestinian flags. The march was organized by left-wing groups and Palestinians in Greece. This is not something that we can tolerate as Muslims. As human beings, this is unacceptable. Uh, seeing the children, the killings, the hospital bombardings, everything, they're killing them. They're killing them, and it's not justified. It's really unjustified, and it's not fair. And the children are the, are the ones that are being lost and are being killed. And it's really, really, we want to, to say to the world, where are you? What are you going to do about it? Support for Palestine is growing across Europe, and similar scenes could be seen in Portugal. Hundreds of people gathered in downtown Lisbon on Wednesday to appeal for peace in the Middle East. It's not about peace. You cannot come and tell me as a Palestinian, oh, uh, let's fix it with peace. We have been living this for years now, and we have been affected by it directly. Every Palestinian family has a martyr. Every Palestinian family has a prisoner. We're affected by it day by day. Peace is not the solution. We need liberation. This is what we need. We need liberty from occupation, from the apartheid, and then we can speak about peace. I just cannot stand it when people start speaking about peace. It's not peace what we need. We need liberation. In the Italian capital, pro-Palestinian supporters held a vigil in Rome's Piazza della Repubblica. They turned out in large numbers to condemn Israel's airstrike on the Al-Ali Al-Arabi hospital, which killed at least 500 Palestinians in the deadliest incident in Gaza of the Israel-Hamas war. Uh, because it's important to support Palestine, it's important to recognize that this is a genocide and we cannot stand for it. That's it. <laughs> Elsewhere in London, pro-Palestinian demonstrators staged a protest outside Downing Street. Protesters chanted, Free, Free Palestine, near Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's official residence before vowing to return at the weekend for a larger demonstration. We have seen time and time again that the Western governments lie about these things. They've done it. Uh, they did it with Lebanon and they did it with Iraq uh, and I and it's a very common propaganda tactic um, and I think all of the evidence points to Israel being responsible for the airstrike especially given that they have already been bombing Gaza for the past 11 days. I don't think the Palestinians have been given a voice and it's important that we but who do have a voice and can be loud and um, stand on behalf of them because it's just disgusting what's happening um, and it's despicable that our UK leaders and leaders of America and the rest of the world and the rest of Europe uh, have been ignoring this.